Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a two-case break of TriStar Hidden Treasures Game Day Greats football, autographed football jerseys. Pretty nice stuff. So we're doing a five-box case of 2020 and a five-box case of 2021. So that's pretty cool. There, for these style of breaks, I think most people know that there's, there's no checklist for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our uh, college or non-pro uniform rules which I think is in the frequently asked questions section. should be there. I'm sure everyone read that. Um, so basically, if it's an active player in their college uniform, it'll go to the team they're currently on. So if they were traded yesterday, like I guess it could be if it's Matthew Stafford's college jersey. That's a good example, right? If it's Matthew Stafford's college jersey, right? It'll go to the Rams now, not the Lions. If they're inactive, retired, it will go by profootballreference.com. will go by the number of seasons to play, the most seasons. They've played with a, with a certain team. And then tiebreakers will be, I don't know, tiebreakers will be, will be um, I think, games and then game started, whatever the columns are in there. All right. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Appreciate it. And there are all 32 teams right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a five, eight times for names and teams. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Glenn down to Nick Stober after eight. Three and a five, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Steelers down to Giants. All right. Glenn with the Steelers. TJ with the Cowboys. Nick with the Rams. Aaron with the Chargers. Gail with the Vikings. Aaron with the Buccaneers. James with the Browns. Jarrell with the Jets. Jimmy with the Bengals. TJ with the Bears, Glenn with the Panthers, Joseph with my Raiders, Robert with the Ravens, Dame with the Cardinals, Kevin with the Texans, Allen with the Jags, Joseph with the Colts, Aaron with the Washington football team, David with the Titans, Victor with the Chiefs, Paul with the Saints, Nick with the Niners, Damian with the Packers, Nick with the Falcons, Damian with the Broncos, Aaron with the Bills, Alec with the Patriots, Karen with the Seahawks, Gail with the Eagles and the Lions, Brandon with the Dolphins, and Nick with the New York football Giants. Let's get all this on one screen. Remember, trade at your own risk. Glenn's looking Steelers for uh, for Browns. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep the trade window open a little bit. Packers and Broncos up for trade as well. You guys are pretty uh, pretty bold trading. No thanks is James on the Steelers-Browns deal. Anyone want uh, Broncos or Packers? Otherwise, we'll roll. And I've got the cases right back here. I know it's kind of, kind of dark on the screen right there, but this is the 2020 case. That's the 2021 case. So we'll do the 2020 first, and then we'll go to the, go to the new stuff. All right, looks like we've got some trade chatter. So I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a little bit of trade chatter, but at the end of the day, there were no deals done. It's all good. The, here's the printout hot off the presses. Thanks, everybody. And so here's the 2020 case first. the first one so this is 2020 right it's, it's kind of small print but it says 2020 right there all right oh who 
am I? I forgot about the top camera. I like these little game show cards that they give you. Uh, who am I? I'm the first player in NFL history to record 1,000 rushing and 1,000 receiving yards in the same season. Wow. Three-time Super Bowl champion and offensive player of the year, part of the NFL uh, all-decade team in this particular decade, the 80s. Four-time Pro Bowl selectee, first player scored three touchdowns in a Super Bowl. Appeared in the NFL playoffs every year of my career. I'm the only running back to lead the NFL in receptions. Who am I? 1980s all-decade team. First NFL, first player in NFL history to record 1,000 rushing and 1,000 receiving yards in 1985. 1985? Yeah, three-time Super Bowl champion in the 80s. Come on. It's a running back. Just think of the think of the the. Franco Harris. No, he was he was. Dickerson? They didn't win three Super Bowls in the eighties. Raiders did not win three Super Bowls in the eighties. Um, Just two, one or two, one. Give me a conference. NFC. Dickerson. No, Rams did not win Super Bowls no, in the eighties. Cowboys. It's gotta be. It's not Emmitt Smith because he was later. Right. You don't know this guy. No one knows this guy? Aaron, Aaron Pettit and Rosario got it. Roger Craig. Don't sleep on Roger Craig. There's Roger Craig's autograph right there. There's his, I'm going to leave it in the bag. It's nicely folded inside, but there he is. Roger Craig, you got the TriStar stickers and all that sort of stuff. Um, oh, we got the TriStar hologram sticker right down there as well. Roger Craig. Um, San Francisco, that'll be for Nick T. Curtis saying what, f f two first names can't be trusted? Roger and Craig? What about Daniel Craig? What about Dan yeah, what about Daniel Craig? You don't trust Daniel Craig? Maybe ever. Bet, maybe ever. All right. All right. Next player drafted 53rd overall in the 2014 NFL Draft. A 2013 second team All-American, a 2013 Paul Warfield Trophy winner, a three-time Pro Bowler, Mike Evans, and a starting wide receiver. I didn't, didn't give me a lot of information on this one. Wait, did I just guess it? No. Mike Evans? No. Allen Robinson? No. No. Uh, You're getting close. No. <laughs> I named the receiver. Yeah, you, you, you missed one big one. Nope. Odell. Nope. Al Robinson, Odell, Mike Evans. He's the Green Bay Packers starting wide receiver. Uh, yeah. Green Bay Packers, Damien, with the Devontae Adams Packers jerseys. So these are custom jerseys. There's the JSA right there. So they don't have any of like the NFL logos or Green Bay Packers logos or anything like that, but obviously the autographs are, are authentic. There you go, Devontae Adams. They didn't give me a, the, Roger Clegg, I feel like you could have added a lot more information for Devontae Adams. Yeah, this is the, these these are great. I I think the custom jerseys are probably better for framing because you're not like hiding any of the any of the logos or anything like that. Was that tried to? Did you did did Damien try to trade those guys? Yeah, maybe a little try to trade couldn't trade Mojo. Loaded. 
2014 wide receiver class loaded. Next one. Who am I? Uh, played football, college football at Texas. A two-time All-American, five-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro. Um, a first overall pick by the Oilers. 1978 NFL Rookie of the Year. You got it. 1979 AP NFL MVP. NFL 100th Anniversary All-Time Team. 1977 Heisman Trophy winner. 1990 College Football Hall of Fame. 1991 Pro Football Hall of Fame. Nick guessed it. It's Earl Campbell. Of course, Oilers stuff goes to the Titans. And that'll be for David Cerulli. The old Earl Campbell. Love these powder blues right here. Nice. Still got the red trim. There's Earl Campbell. Almost looks like Earl Grey, like T. Looks like the autograph. There's the sticker right there. TriStar card and everything. Pretty nice. Nicely folded here. There you go. He's pretty good. Earl Campbell. All right, there you go, David. Congrats. Two more to go in 2020. And then we got five boxes of uh, 2021. Did I, did I reveal the color on the top camera? All right, who am I? 10-time Pro Bowl selectee, eight-time first-team All-Pro, the Super Bowl champion, part of the another one from the 1980s All-Decade team. Two-time AP NFL Defensive Player of the Year. Three-time UPI NFC Player of the Year. Played football at Baylor. Got into the College Football Hall of Fame in 95. Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1998. He wants winners. I want players that want to win. Who am I? I think Nick got it. Someone heard in the background. He hates Vernon Davis. He wants winners. No, no one wants to guess. Mike Singletary. There you go. I want winners. I want players I want to win. Got the number on the sleeve as well. There it is. So he, he gave you a little HOF inscription right there. There's his autograph. There's the JSA sticker and the associated card right here. Pretty nice. That'll be for TJ Poyer and the Bears. Oh, there you go. Maybe Arthur got it. Arthur said Singletary. Uh, you gotta count for the lag, though. You gotta give, you gotta give the give the people in the chat a chance. It's too quick. Remember, uh, remember, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. The family fight episode. Oh, that buzzer's so loud, isn't it? Or, or if Dennis didn't play and if Charlie played, if they got all the Charlie answers, they would have won. All right, who am I? I'm a two-time Pro Bowl selectee, a 1986 Davey O'Brien Award winner, a 1986 Walter Camp Award winner, a 1986 Maxwell Award winner, a 1986 Heisman Trophy wow. winner. With 46,233 career NFL passing yards, who am I? 46,000. That's a hard uh, little pass sheet there. Yeah. College Football Hall of Fame in 2013. Not an NFL Hall of Famer, though, but I think... 1986 Heisman. Yeah, who won, basically, who won the 1986 Heisman? What position 
Well, he, with 46,233 NFL passing yards. I think I think Arthur has it. B Man has it as well. No, not Flutie. It's yes, it's Vinny Testaverde. I did not realize he had forty six thousand uh, NFL passing yards right there. In his green Jets jersey. Wait, no, that's not Jets. There's Vinny Testaverde's autograph. What college do you play for? Do you play for Miami? Yeah. This is his Miami colors. He must have played for the Jets the longest, though, right? No, it might be close to the Ooh, you're close. It's close. Seven years for the Jets, six years for Tampa Bay. So it'll it'll go to uh, the Jets. They Played for one season longer with the Jets. I, that's where I associate him with. I guess I don't think about his Tampa Bay years. Jarrell Taylor, by the way, has the Jets. He had 40... I guess he was, yeah. I mean, he, he logged in like seven years with the Jets, six years with Tampa Bay, a few years with Cleveland, a couple years with Baltimore. All right. Played for a long time, yeah. All right, so now in these red boxes here, these are this should be 2021. All right, 2021. So you get a whole group of new players plus opportunities for this current draft class. All right, you can see Justin Jefferson on the top right there. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Tua right here. Glowbug saying, uh, the weird thing about Testaverde is that his last name literally translates to gre green head in Italian. <laughs> so that's what Glowbug's saying. I, I, I'm not, my, my Italian's not very good. But then he played, yeah, he played for a green team for a long time. He had a green head. Was it the... They had those uh, those green helmets there. All right, who am I? I'm the 1973 NFL Rookie of the Year, the 12th overall pick in the 1973 draft. Oh. 1974, yeah, his name is old. 1974 NFC Player of the Year, Pro Bowl starter as a rookie, five-time Pro Bowler after that. Part of the Vikings Ring of Honor and the 50 Greatest Vikings. Who am I? Uh, Randall. Obviously, it's a Viking. John Randall. No. Gale with the Vikings. No, I don't think you'll. I don't think you'll get it. Um, I can get it. Hold on. I don't think I've seen this name in the hobby a lot. What position did he play? I don't even know. I'll look it. I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. No, not Carl Eller. That's a good guess. That's a, that's a that's a very good guess, but he is a uh, he's a running back, not Alan Page. So Vikings running back in the seventies. <laughs> I think Obi Wan got it. Did you cheat, Obi Wan? I don't think he. I don't think he's a cheater. Yeah, Obi Wan got it. It's Chuck Foreman, running back. Let's see, five thousand nine hundred fifty career rushing yards, fifty three total touchdowns in his career. All right, oh, and then I think B Man, to be Vlado afterwards, got it too. Yeah, I feel like we don't see this guy's name in the hobby too often. And then there's the back of the jersey right there let's get a closer look at his autograph great penmanship as all the old guys always have good penmanship the tri-star authentication sticker right there there you go and chuck foreman no not not for different foreman Is he really? Yeah, that's right, yeah. All right. 
Next jersey. Ah, Obi Wan's an old Viking fan. That makes sense then. Curtis chiming in with Chuck Form. You don't. You didn't know who he was. Stop. All right. Next player. Uh, a Super Bowl champion, a nine-time Pro Bowler, two-time first-team All-Pro, six-time second-team All-Pro, part of the NFL's 75th and 100th anniversary all-time team, part of the NFL's 1980s all-decade team. It's like an episode of like Stranger Things. There's a lot of 1980s people here. Um, his Patriots number 40 was retired, part of the Patriots Hall of Fame, part, uh, 2000 College Football Hall of Fame, 1997 Pro Football Hall of Fame. Um, and he was a, a, uh, is that, that's not the same player. He was a former cornerback. I think the Super Bowl that he won was with the Raiders, but I don't know what, what player, I don't know if it's going to be Raiders or Patriots actually. Yeah, no, I, ba I barely know this guy, too. It's actually Raiders edition. It's Mike Haynes, cornerback Mike Haynes. There's the silver and black jersey right there. Yeah, Super Bowl champion, pro bowler, defensive player of the year, 1984. There you go. Mike Haynes right there. 46 interceptions with 688 interception yards and five touchdowns. And uh, that was when the Raiders, Los Angeles Raiders, beat the Redskins in 19, the 1983 season. All right. So that's clearly Raiders edition, and that will be for Joseph. Apologies to the Patriots for the false alarm there. And uh, Raiders, Joseph, Joseph K with that. All right, we got a few more to go. So a few more chances to guess. Who am I? <laughs> Sorry, Alec. I, I mean, usually the card matches the... Jersey, but all right. Next one we have uh, 2018 PFWA All Rookie Team, first team All SEC. 2018. Yep, first team All SEC in 2017. A two-time college football national champion, two-time SEC champion. So. You can kind of figure that out. Yeah. USA Today freshman All-American and broke this team's record for most single season receiving touchdowns by a rookie. <laughs> We're only 20 minutes into the break, eBay. Relax. Who am I? 2018. Receiver. SEC champion. Who are recent SEC champions? Alabama. Alabama receivers. Just start naming Alabama receivers from 2018. What? Calvin Ridley. In his Alabama gear going to Atlanta. There's Calvin Ridley. There's his Alabama number right there. And they're, they're producing all sorts of all sorts of great wide receivers. And who's that other kid that just won the Heisman who's going to be in there? I think Brian Peoples may have gotten it. All right, Calvin Ridley for the Falcons. Nick T with the Falcons. Thanks, everyone, for playing America's Favorite Game. Who am I? 
where I give you the clues. You try to guess the player. We got two more to go. Good luck. Thanks to TriStar for the game show cards. Makes uh, makes who am I pretty fun. You got to get these last two. All right. All right. Six-time Pro Bowler, th three-time first-team All-Pro, two-time AFC Defensive Player of the Year, an NFL Defensive pl Player of the Year, part of this team's honor roll, a sacks leader in one year, Walter Payton, NFL Man of the Year, NFL 2000s All-Decade Team, and part of the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2017. My sister works with Colin Cowherd. Who am I? Oh, you didn't give anybody a chance on that one. It's too excited. There is a lag. Did everyone hear? I got it before the Colin Coward thing. Not Bruce Smith, not JJ Watt. Yeah, I think some of you heard Nick Jaspi in the background. It's Jason Taylor. Yes, yeah, his sister Joy Taylor, co host on the Colin Coward show. Which I only learned like in the last like year. There you go. Pretty nice. The JSA. There's the autograph here. And that is for Miami. Brandon. With Miami. Yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty good. I also... I, by the way, I don't think these are being shipped in these boxes. I actually don't know how the shipping team does it, but I think they're going to be in different boxes. All right. Congrats, Brandon. All right, last one. Who am I? By the way, I didn't see any more of these jerseys in the back, so. So who am I? We'll be back next time. Don't know when. But next time. All right. Last chance to put your thinking caps on for bragging rights. Tell your friends you won around to Who Am I? All right. I'm a nine, another old school guy. I'm a 1986 SEC Player of the Year, three time All SEC, three time First Team All American, five time Pro Bowl selectee, a three time All Pro, a four time AFC champion. Part of the 1990s All-Decade Team. So think about four-time AFC champions in the 90s. Part of Alabama Sports Hall of Fame and part of the College Football Hall of Fame in 2005. Not Mike Jasperson. Close, though. Not Steve Atwater. Wait, I, why do I not have a... I need a position here. Let me give you a position. So think about your 1990s uh, AFC champions. He was a first-round pick, uh, second overall, and was a linebacker. 1,190 tackles over 206 games played, 204 starts, 71.5 QB sacks, 31 fumbles, 7 interceptions as a linebacker. A Lombardi Award winner. Who am I? Anyone want to guess? Bills defensive players? Close, Donald. Number 55. And number 97, according to, according to Wikipedia. It is... There you go. I think Josh got it. It's Cornelius Bennett. Buffalo! Yeah, part of those part of those excellent uh, excellent defense on those Bills teams right there. There's the JSA right here. 
and Cornelius Bennett. It's going to go to Aaron Pettit with the Bills. Thanks, Aaron, for getting in. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. And thanks, everybody, for playing. This is always one of the, the fun features of Jaspies is who am I? We'll look for some more jerseys and play some more next time. I'm Joe. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.